Hello everyone, my name is Josh Michael. Uh, today we are going to learn some stuff from expert. So if you are a automation engineer or a beginner uh, that preparing for an interview, this will definitely help you. Uh, in this, by the end of this video, you will be learning some expert functions. You could even query on a web page table. So let's get started. Speaking of expert, we always query expert on a website. So what is a web page? A website works, works like a tree structure. So in this example, let's say you are having a parrot and some childs here A, B, C, D, E. In this B, C, D, E are the childs and A is the parent. So if you browse through any website, like let's take this example and go to inspect using F key key so here I inspecting this first row here you can see whole everything is containing inside the HTML tags inside HTML we got on the next level you, we got head and body inside that we got some more elements one a that's a link and a table inside the table we got some more elements a body yes a T body let's go inside that there we have a TR two TRs that's a row table rows and we got two two columns in each rows okay let's get uh, let's uh, represent this using an expert system so I said it goes like a tree it will have a parent in this case in this case uh, td for the element td tr is the parent for the tr t body is the parent for the t body table is the parent so for the t body we having we are we are having two children t both t two years that is two rows of the table so so uh, in learning expert uh, a direct child, child is very important concept for in this uh, figure we can see a both b and c is the child of a but d is not directly connected with a but it's on the left subtree of a so in such cases we can simply uh, there are two types of x paths one is absolute and one is relative if you want to access a to b we can use absolute expert so if you want to access a to d we could directly jump from a to d skipping the node b so it will we will be using the relative expert so the relative expert will look upon on the down each level so let's see here expert as a name suggest it is it is a path so for writing an expert we need to find a path for a tree it will have a root node here the root is at level 1a so going beneath one level we can see b and c on the tail third level we can see d okay so uh, writing a path we can go directly a to d okay and we can directly go a to b and then b to d likewise we can go from a to c and then c to d so we can have this kind of paths a to d and a b c a b d a c d okay uh, in, in this example a to d is we are jumping so we will be using a relative expert and if we are going to visit each and every node in between a and d it will be using absolute expert so a website can be represented like a tree uh, 
website such as this is similar to the one in depicted in this picture in this figure so we are having a HTML tag inside we have HTML we have body and head inside body we have table and, and link then we can have uh, two rows and then for each row we have two columns so if you are writing xpath for this element let's say let me check if you are going we want to access body so we can from html tag we can do a slash body so we will move from html to body then we use a slash uh, then we have to go to table so we will use a table then one slash we need to go to this left tier so we will use tier if you want to go to the second uh, tr that is one we can simply write uh, tr of two the first tr will can also represent the last tr of one okay then we need to go to td okay in this in this example we are using absolute expert so we are visiting every node in between html and the td so it is using absolute expert so if you are using a relative expert things will get much much easier so if we use a double slash td it will represent all the td elements on the subtree of html so here we have one two three four tds so this x x path will represent this td but it won't be unique it will also point to each of every td so to make it unique in relative xpath also we might need to visit these nodes in between them so here i will be visiting to table of one the first table so in this left subtree it will go to the body and search for table so it will find a table here so we are at the table so we need to find the let's say if you need to find the, this td we can simply write td it will it is on the left left side of the thing so if you want to find something on the right side things will get difficult because it doesn't know which td we are going to select so it will automatically fetch the first one Come, came across so for this purpose if you are going to select this td if you are going to select this td we have to go to the table then we have to go to the second tr so this tr so for that we use single slash because it directly beneath this one so we use single slash tr of two then we can go to the first td so slash td so here in the relative xpath also we use as absolute xpath methods so we skipped one element body by using a double slash <coughs> if you want to select the first td we can skip all these two steps and directly write double slash td otherwise if you want to take this tr we can simply skip the table step and we can directly go to the leftmost tr that is this one tr then we have to take the td of 2 so of 2 this is how uh, relative and absolute x was works so we'll move on to the practical example using a using an uh, developer options it can be taken by pressing f12 or right clicking and inspect so we have to be on the elements tab here and we can click on this inspector tool then we can point to any element in this thing so 
in expert if you are writing uh, an absolute expert for the 27 age that is an age field here you can see it's an age field okay uh, i will take some other example for now one second okay here i have also this one i will inspect this one for the illustration so pressing F12, I'm inspecting like, let's take the 26 age. So we could simply uh, check our X path by clicking Control F and it, it will show a text box like this. So here in this text field, we can simply write any X path or otherwise we, otherwise we can simply find some elements. So let's say, let's say arrow it will find arrow okay so if you're writing xpath it will be like using slashes so html so it will point to the root node slash uh, head we can go okay it will select the head node so other ways we can go to the body okay also we can use single slash html html slash body slash um, in table slash table table slash inside the table what is the first element body so we have to go to body then we have to go to t body not body it is t body table body so table body then we have to take upon the third third row that is tr of three then inside the tr of three we have to take uh, the field second column so td of two so this is the way of writing absolute expert so if you are going to write uh, the relative expert the things will get much 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 easier so we can simply uh, search shift table so in this example we got only one table so we can directly go inside the table by using just double slashes so if you are just typing this it will point to the table so other ways we can uh, also in this uh, html page there is one there is one and only one body so we can go to the body itself then we can go to the third third row third row then first or second second td td of two so uh, another advantage of this uh, expert is um, let's say if there are uh, more elements uh, uh, of the same name age but we couldn't figure out uh, which one we want if you are using the locator type name or id because that that might not be unique so in expert we can simply uh, go inside an attribute uh, we can search for an attribute by uh, first i'm going to select a td okay td and i'm going to find the attribute for the attribute we are using the attribute symbol a a for attribute and at the rate for attribute attri attribute what is the attribute name here the name uh, for this one this is, this class is an attribute so here we will take the name and in quotes we specify the values what's the value of that name age so it will look here we can see all the uh, all the td with the having the attribute age is selected so let me let me make some uh, changes to this uh, html page and i will add one more element here like let's say in div of name mm, and it's having the same attribute age okay i'm closing the div and inside the div i'm going to give some values here mm, uh, show some age here code so it is on the testing side so developer might be do something like this okay let's hope for that i'm going to refresh the page uh, let's see some div appear on here okay so if uh, i'm going to use this x path okay cut control f maybe 
so all the three elements are also got selected but if you want to take the div also we can simply delete this td td instead of td we can use a slash for generic element name so it will uh, look upon for every uh, elements having a, an attribute uh, name and its value is age so we uh, likewise we can take the text is a function actually uh, function I, sh I forget to add the function we can also give the name attribute and using an and condition so using an and condition I am going to give the name equal to 30 in quotes so uh, sorry uh, the name equal to age uh, name equal to age yeah age so it will show up here like this we can type or else we can use another method called like contents uh, contents method also works like this uh, but with some other syntax contains for now i am going to select this node uh, so the dot symbol represent the current node and quotes we are I'm going to give the value mm. in the quotes i am going to give some value here let's take 30 so it will take the oh, td of value 30 so, so we can simply delete all this and it will work still works but because it is unique that is unique but say let's say uh, here also on 30 is here so if you are using this x path it will show two elements okay let's make it default so contains works like that but we can also mm, specify some attributes here so let's say name uh, equal to age so see inside the contents we can also specify the attribute values to it work like that so uh, if you are going to take all the td some let's say for simplicity we can always uh, right click and copy like xpath here copy xpath before the td i'm going to paste it okay i got some xpath directly pointing to this particular area and then we go to two we got only one because the name attribute is there uh, so i'm going to delete the name attribute and contain so we will end up with one second, let me show you we have two td having the same xpath block so uh, we can uh, write conditions like I'm going to edit this HTML, edit as HTML, copy paste this several times. So we are having a TD of value contains age at, uh, name equal to age. We have four uh, such elements. So we we eliminated the name you name and we got the age attributes here okay so likewise we can eliminate one attribute and still we have some more elements with the same expert so we can simply and uh, do like this td of two td of three td of three we can specify the index like this that is one expert trick so here i have a different web page uh, that has a name age and country inside a column um, so in an expert sometimes we need to take uh, some users with some specific conditions from a table like this so in such cases expert can do a conditional search uh, using multiple conditions we can specify inside one x path so let's say if you need to take uh, a user that is having an age greater than 50 so in this we have two users arun and Ansin. from that uh, so the conditions modifies like the like this uh, a users having uh, 
age greater than 50 and coming from a country India. So our search will uh, point to narrow down to this this one. So and we need to take the name only. So we don't need to select A 56 or India. So we only need to take the corresponding name. So let's see how we can do that in a, using XPath. So inside the search box so the search box here let's say uh, first we need to go inside the table right table double slash table so we are inside the table we are good so or maybe we can go inside the t body t body okay that's fine so in the uh, rows and columns uh, the second column always contains what the age and the and the third column always contains the country name so we need to take uh, some values greater than 50 in this co column number two so uh, in expert if you use single slash dr all the uh, rows will be selected including name joe's aaron and jaren every rows will be selected let's see see uh, at the left side each rows will be blinking okay so we na narrow down to the rows uh, now we have to take the second column so uh, this represents all the rows so inside all the rows we have to take the td of 2 so what we have we go the uh, age columns only so let's iterate 25 56 18 48 and 58 okay so we have to apply condition what about the, what is the condition uh, it should be having a value greater than 58 okay now we are going inside the condition statement so inside the theory of tools i'm going to give some particular condition of te text of greater than or equal to 50 or equal to equal to is let it be equal to so see we go two values uh, so the importance of td of two when we are, we could simply delete this condition and this will also work but uh, let's say if we have uh, some values here uh, let it be this value be 68 it will also select the 68 so if you are giving the particular index of the column it won't select the 68 so it is important so it is important uh, you are searching inside the uh, particular column so uh, so many columns might contain the numerics or values maybe if you are looking for a name uh, there will be having two columns first name and second name so we shouldn't be looking upon the second name if you are searching on the first name so uh, someone might have a second name or less i mean the last name uh, of the same so if you are looking upon uh, we have to specify the column okay so we narrow down our search uh, between the greater than 50 now we have to look up for the country so how you will do that so our tree now don't have all other uh, other nodes only these uh, rows are selected so then we are moving up to the row slash d uh, uh, if you want to move up we have to use the single dot operator so right uh, single dot operator will be select in the current node and if you using double dot it will move to the parent see td one one more slash it will go to the parent if you go we are going to the corresponding parent then we are we will again look upon the uh, td of three and the text should be what text should be india records india see now our search uh, pointed to the India and 
see USA is not selected USA is not selected. so but what, what was our requirement we have to select the name of the user so single slash double dot move to the tr and slash td of one td of one so we got our name so a expert like this uh could do a query on a table thank you for watching this video today i hope you have learned something new so stay subscribed to our channel and wait for new videos like this i will be adding automation tutorials on selenium and many other tools in the upcoming days so stay tuned to our channel